Hi, I'm Jared Falk, and in this lesson, we're going to talk about opening and closing the hi-hats within your drum beats. Now, if you just have any stock beat, or any of your favorite drum beats, you can always kind of add something to them dynamically, or spice them up, um, just by simply opening up the hi-hats and then closing it again. So I first want to talk about how these grooves are notated. Now, you'll notice on the open hi-hat stroke, there's a little O above it, okay? And then on the following note, usually, there's a plus sign. And that's going to tell you that on that note, the hi-hat should again be closed. You'll notice in some of the intermediate exercises, uh, when you get there, is they're open for almost two sixteenth notes. So you actually play the hi-hat for two sixteenth notes when it's open. So just because you open it on a certain note doesn't mean you always close it on the exact following note. Okay, so I just want you guys to know it before we get into it, to just look at the sheet music, uh, take note of exactly when the hi-hat is opening, and then exactly when it's supposed to be closed. All right, so the plus sign means when you hit that hi-hat stroke, it's supposed to be closed again. Simple as that. Uh, before we get into exercises, I'm just going to play on the hi-hat, and I'm just going to practice opening it in random places. And that's kind of what you want to do first. You know, practice opening it for, you know, one-eighth note, and then practice opening it for two-eighth notes, and stuff like that. Just in the high. Don't worry about any of the other the pieces yet. All right, so when I do the open stroke, generally I will accent, okay? And I accent by using the shoulder of the stick on the edge of the hi-hat. You can also uh, consider, you know, hitting the bell on the open. Um, you can consider just hitting the top. It all depends on what sound you're looking for. How much of an accent are you looking for? And so it's totally up to you uh, what you want to do based on the style of music you're playing and what actually fits with what you're playing. With that said, let's jump in to the first exercise. We basically have an open hi-hat stroke on the and of four, and then again, it's closed on count one. The next exercise basically has the hi-hat open on the and, okay? Every and, so it's kind of like a disco groove. I don't know if you guys listen to ABBA or not, but there's a lot of ABBA songs that use this groove. Okay, and we just got four on the floor with the kick, beats one, two, three, four, two and four on the snare, and then the right hand is just going to play eighth notes, and I'll probably be accenting the, the ands more. So I'll have the hi-hat on the tip on the beat one, shoulder on the and. Tip, beat one, or beat two, shoulder on the and. Tip, beat three, shoulder on the and. Tip, beat four, shoulder on the and. Okay, so it might be opposite from what you're used to, or it might be the way you play. Some people play shoulder on the downbeats, on beats one, and then tip on the and. And if that's the sound you want for these, you're welcome to do that. Uh, me, personally, I just like a, a chunkier and a thicker open hi-hat um, when I play these sorts of exercises. So, let's jump into this one. Alright, so sometimes when I'm playing that groove, I'll actually just remove the notes on the downbeat. So on, the, on beat one, two, three, four, just remove them, and I'll just play 
the offbeats. Especially if I'm looking for something like really heavy. If you guys listen to any of like the kind of Brit rock, the Franz Ferdinand and stuff like that, um, <clears throat> there's a lot of that in there. Uh, the next exercise is basically just kind of kind of break up the opens a little bit more, okay? And like I just said in the first exercise, it's not something you necessarily want to play every single bar in a song unless it fits. But I'm going to demonstrate it that way for you. But then when you're practicing it, I kind of recommend that you just you know play the groove and then throw this in as, as kind of a, a small little fill, a pickup fill to the following phrase or something like that. So let me demonstrate this one for you slowly. So those are some beginner exercises to help you develop this dynamic change within your different grooves. Remember, these are just my examples. They're just three examples. You can literally apply this within, you know, thousands, millions, all of your different beats. You can even apply it in lots of different fills. These are just designed to get your hi-hat foot getting used to going open and close, and especially with on certain counts as they're written on the sheet music. So I hope you understand that. I hope to see you guys in the intermediate lesson where we talk more about opening and closing the hi-hat within your grooves. I'll see you guys there.